Hey, it's Mike from The Run Testers. I am here in Stratford. I'm going to be doing the run through Olympic Park 10K. Um, the main reason I'm doing it is I wanted to come and race test some shoes. Those shoes are the Asics Metaspeed Edge Plus. Now, I haven't run in the Edge before, so um, I'm very much looking forward to trying out the Edge Plus. I have run a lot in the Sky and the Sky Plus, which also we've got reviews on the channel. Um, now, what I would say is that with the Sky, I haven't really massively got on with it at short distances. I know Tom and Nick have done um, and found them all right at the kind of 5k, 10k pace. So I'm really looking forward to seeing whether the Edge Plus works better for me at those kind of shorter distance. Now, obviously, there's some differences between the Sky Plus and the Edge Plus, particularly around where the placement of the carbon plate is. So whether having it kind of close to the sole is going to make any difference and whether, you, you know, you've got that extra foam and a slightly different um, kind of silhouette in terms of that shoe as well. And um, whether those are going to make a difference in terms of me trying to run a little bit fast um, today it's very hot so I mean I don't know if I'm going to PB I'll see how I get on I've had a couple of days off running just to kind of rest my knee um, but yeah I'm looking forward to running in the shoe um, seeing how I get on um, on a course that you know is relatively quick and flat so we'll see how I do in terms of other stuff that I'm testing I have got the Garmin 4 and a 955 on and I'm going to be testing that against the Garmin Epics around heart rate, around, you know, a, a part, a course that I know is really sketchy in terms of GPS, so it'll be a real challenge for it in terms of how it performs. Um, I've got a pair of headphones I'm testing at the moment. They're the clear arc, so they're kind of open ear, um, open ear kind of style headphones. Um, a bit different from the things that we've used before, so things like Shox, um, the Nanka Pro, a lot of the bone conduction headphones. Um, these have a kind of hinge design so they sit on the top of your ears kind of like an ear hook uh, and keep you know obviously offers that kind of awareness in terms of sound they cost 129 pounds i'm going to take those with me as well but mainly it's about the edge uh, plus seeing how i get on um in terms of time no idea it's hot it's still hot it's six seven o'clock yeah, six o'clock i start at seven um it's still very warm right now so we'll see i'm going to go and get my number get set up um get warmed up well i mean it's pretty warm already uh and i'll let you know how i get on later so yeah See ya. So, as you can probably hear, I have finished uh, the run through Olympic Park 10K. It was tough, definitely not my quickest time. Uh, I think I did around 42, 43 minutes. It was hot out there. I had to stop f a fair amount uh, in the four lap course. Um, it was nice and quick, but uh, you know, very exposed and I struggled in the heat. But happy with the time that I did in the end, kind of got over 42, 43 minutes. So in terms of that run test, actually pretty good, apart from times when I stopped because of the heat and was just kind of struggling. Um, the Edge Plus felt really good, actually. Um, it definitely felt a little bit better suited to that shorter distance stuff where I really kind of struggled to get to grips with, with the Sky and the Sky Plus. And I mean, what was that kind of down to? I think maybe in terms of the way that shoe is designed, in terms of... You know, being a shoe for cadence runs where you pick up those kind of steps uh, when you run a bit quicker, and maybe that's something that I'm I'm doing in those kind of short, short distance comparison to what I'm doing in the sky. Plus, where I think I'm opening up my stride when I want to go a little bit quicker, um, running at a different pace really as well, ultimately at that marathon uh, kind of distance as well. Uh, but on this course, it's nice and flat, um, some twists and turns, but you know, the outsole holds up really well from that point of view. Um, it's you know, I enjoyed it at that distance, apart from the bits where I was struggling in the heat. Um, Fit-wise, it was all pretty solid, um, very similar to uh, what experience with the Sky and Sky Plus. I don't think the upper is massively different compared to the original. Um, it's nice and thin and light. The laces are an improvement. I think they're lighter. Um, you've got a similar kind of thin tongue as well and kind of small amount of padding around the heel as well. Fits really nicely kind of around the midfoot and then you've got a kind of decent amount of space up front in the toe box as well. But yeah, very... You know, I enjoyed running in it. You do feel that kind of um, extra bit of foam in there when you're kind of moving a little bit quicker and going through, going through the kind of gears. Really, um, 
And yeah, overall, actually, it, it, it felt nicer at that, at that short distance. That was the key thing for me. And I think maybe that comes down to um, what Essex has done in terms of that plate positioning, how where it sits in the shoe. I think it probably works a little bit nicer. You've got that extra foam as well. Um, and maybe that's, that's kind of what it is. My style is a little bit different those short distance compared to that kind of marathon distance where I think the sky works really well for me. But positive so far, um, a shoe that I would like to spend a lot more time um, running with um but on that kind of 10k did okay apart from the times uh, i was struggling but uh in terms of when i needed to go quick it felt really good to run in um and generally positive uh, from the edge plus so far so in terms of the other stuff that i was testing i was using the garmin 9955 and i was comparing it to the garmin epics in terms of the multi-band performance and also um, the heart rate monitoring as well um, both were in multi-band um, they were pretty you know identical really in terms of the data that I saw um, in terms of the heart rate I had the epics paired up to a my zone chest track monitor and then obviously was comparing that to um, the optical sensor on the 499 and unsurprisingly the 955 put my max heart rate at 191 I think um, which is obviously not accurate. It was hot and my heart rate was generally higher, but um, compared to the chest strap, it was no way near as high as that. And it kind of generally isn't anyway. So I think it's another case of an optical sensor that's, you know, not great for the kind of high intensity stuff. So, you know, but what I was kind of expecting anyway, but from a distance and tracking point of view and the battery drop off in multiband, they were pretty similar um, accuracy wise. So I was pretty happy, particularly in a route where the GPS can kind of struggle. I was also testing the clear arc um, headphones, so these open ear headphones that are a bit like bone conductor headphones, want to keep you aware of your surroundings. They work really nicely from that point of view, they stay put. Uh, battery life drop off was about 5% for kind of 40 minutes worth of running. I think the battery life overall was seven hours, so it did pretty well from that point of view. The controls weren't fantastic. I had a point where I think I knocked the controls by accident, they paused, and when I was trying to move and touch them and tap them to get them going again, going at pace, it didn't really work for me. Not really surprising. Um, touch controls are pretty much a no-no for me in kind of races, and these ones didn't really work for me at that point where I needed to change them. Yeah, so that's all the kit I tested. Edge Plus, promising. Uh, hopefully I can do some better running when I'm not having to start and stop again uh, because of the heat, uh, but I enjoyed it in that run. Um, the 955 obviously we're going to review together that did really well as well and the clear arc okay but those controls are uh, not fantastic for race conditions okay so there you have it that is our initial thoughts on the asics meta speed edge plus and also thrown in some kind of general thoughts on the clear arc headphones and the garmin 955 which we'll be doing a full review of as well if you've got any questions about this shoe any other kit that we've tested let us know in the comments as always like and subscribe hit that little bell to find out about latest videos and yeah we'll see you the next run testers video yeah.